What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, I finally crushed the Württemberg forces which were causing a, which were being super annoying and betrayed me and stabbed me in the back. Um, however, they have finally been defeated and now I have two pretty strong armies sure? in Europe. And uh, from discussion with you guys, you guys think the best option well, a, good, a potential option could be knocking out Genoa, because they're getting a bit big for their boots. They've controlled, controlled the North African coast, which while it isn't a big deal, um, it's not necessarily, not necessarily something I would want. And they also control this territory in the Americas, which obviously I do want. Um, so I've got to be very careful how I propose to do this, just for interest's sake. Let's have a look at Genoa. It's allied with Spain and France, so it would put a big um it would put a big you know uh, magnifying glass on Spain to back me and they will not like me because I'm allied to one of their enemies and their enemies who am I allied with that's their enemy I am allied with Sweden which is their enemy so they don't like me so if I declare war on um do you know, I'm probably declaring war on Spain as well. So it would be worth, I think, not doing that for the time being until I've managed to solidify my holdings somewhat. Um, so got this army here, which I'd like to get around to India to start introducing some more trade. Um, I'd also like to expand my navy some more. And also effectively push down uh, down the west coast. And some of these garrison forces... Well, I know this force I was tempted to bring back. Um, I'm tempted to send them up to secure Moose Factory. Because um, while it is a, it's a British territory and it's a bit out of the way, um, it, it does mean it would stop forces dribbling down here and raiding my territories. It might bring me into war with the Huron... But I will take that risk when it comes to it. Um, so I have managed to capture Philadelphia. But I will want to move south. And effectively take the rest of the British possessions. Um, on the mainland United States. Because it's very very valuable. New Haven's about to be established. Which is excellent. So research and technology. Heidelberg. If I hear much of a destruction. I have. But do I want to? Because they only hate me by... One, and while clamour for reform will go up, resistance to foreign occupation will also go down. And I can upgrade. Oh no, it's pleasure gardens. Can't upgrade the pleasure gardens. I think I might keep it at least temporarily to try and boost some of my research. No, actually, I've got four universities. Don't need it. Oh, but then again, it's a classical university compared to a college. I could upgrade this to. A to you. Let's have a look at you. I could upgrade. Mm, to be honest, I could just upgrade all these in general. You know what? I might keep it just to become a tech superpower, but it does also mean it's another thing that I don't really have the gentleman to actually capitalise on. There you go. Improved grape shot. Just become an absolute enlightenment powerhouse. Your Calais is about to be developed, so it's yet another port that I have to keep an eye on. There's a Russian agent who is going to be causing some trouble. Um, but yes, I think right now I need to send this army out to take the take out Moose Factory. I did want to move them, but now I don't. Um, I want to keep these armies, or these garrisons, sorry, ready in, to respond to anything that may arise. Actually, I, to be honest, I might send one of them. Recruit ship in Boston. And then send one of them down to secure Nassau. Just to just to further cut off British trade. They've got coffee and sugar. Which is... Coffee's a reasonable resource. And all of my spices are being blockaded. And how much money am I earning? 28,000. Not as much as I would like. But you know, you can only play with the hand you dealt. So my... Uh, foray into the Middle East has not quite gone to plan and I think that's something to do with that uh, the Middle East is not a very wealthy region 
so expanding there can only do so much. It does bring me out, bring me into war with the uh, with the Ottoman Empire. So I think I probably do want to expand in the Americas a bit more, just to get that income rolling in. I don't. Oh, I mean, Portugal not doing anything. To be honest, I might send the army in Portugal to the Amer. Do you want to send them? Mm. Trouble is, if I attack India or I secure the rebel territory, all that happens is that they just blockade me and I don't really earn, don't really get the gain from it. Um, so while it would be handy to have uh, from a from a just a variety standpoint, um, I don't know if it's something I want. No, I no, sorry, I forgot what my plan was. Send them to secure that, then to secure Bengal and use it as my as a force to um, begin. Expanding in the in the um, the Indian faction uh, subcontinent. That was going to be my plan, which will be difficult. Oh, see the Genoans are bringing up yet another army to expand. At least they are. At least they are attacking my enemies. Oh no! Here come the Cherokee. It's the Huron. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be exploited. Elat. So that's in Jerusalem. Okay, before I start doing you, New Haven. Let's upgrade this. Construction finished in Toronto Bier. And uh, Fort Frontenac. Cool, let's keep you going on to the Moose Factory. Oh, there's one here, Craft Workshop. And then let's repair Pennsylvania. And I'd wager if I moved you guys out, they'd probably hate me. Oh, not much. Enough to write a letter and moan about it. Well, let's just lay siege to uh, Annapolis. Keep pushing. And probably actually move this garrison out of Albany into Pennsylvania. Good. How's your infrastructure doing? Sorry, guys. Stupid software problems. Um, so they there. So I've got this garrison from Alvin down to Pennsylvania. Their infrastructure's good. Uh, probably. Well, Boston's good. Okay, so you'll earn me. I'll trade route wealth. So you own that. Let's go back to France, actually, see what I can do here. Spanish, we want to assassinate a Spanish person, not yet. Training, okay, I basically I just need to spend money on on my economy. I might go over to the Americas and spend it. Don't need barracks in Quebec. Roads could work. To be honest, I'll start, yeah, I'll start upgrading some of my roads. And Albany is probably the, is currently the highest amount, so they'll benefit the most from it. Then let's take. I've run out of money to do any more recruitment. My navy's expanded by a first ship. Victor Delancey, first rate veteran. Perfect. Successful mission, Adolia. At least we're at peace with them, at least. Okay, so you are plenishing, as are you. Oh no, turn you off. Okay, so let's put you... Let's bring them over here. I'm going to want to bring one of them to the Americas. I've got a feeling it's going to be this one, because they've got these um, militia, which aren't necessarily as useful in Europe. This army's going to stay in, its, stay in position. And then this garrison here is going to be ready to respond. And ultimately, I think, I might start to dispatch these militia units that were recruited in emergency. Well, oh, let's just disband three of them. Let's disband you. Just to ease up on our troop production a bit. Tax is still down. Some Bordeaux is about to get new manufacturing tech. Okay, good. Traits gained. 
gentleman who moves even and slower because he's not very well. This guy's a trencherman. Minus one. No, okay, doesn't like to move as well. So this turn, French diplomats have just got very slow. Okay, so I could, I, I'm tempted to move this army out and build a garrison. Let's see how much of a garrison this Portugal Lisbon actually gives me. So we move all of my guys out. Lisbon gives me two units, and they're exempted from tax. Not anymore, you nut. Stay in there for now. Cool. Let's hit and turn. I think, oh, do you know what, ultimately one of these armies might have to hold position and get ready to uh, cross the channel and invade. Um, because if I'm going to be pushing down the east coast and I'm going to have one of my armies in Lisbon landing and taking British territories, you know, now might be the time. B Britain is no longer the, the, the dangerous threat that it was in the early game. Uh, now it's ripe for the, ripe for the attack. While its navy still pose a threat, I could probably sail around the channel and land in Ireland. And then take Ireland, then take Edinburgh, then work down to London. That could well be one way of cutting the head off of one of the snakes. But I think that'll only be fair once I've... You know, also, because well, I know the plan was for me to annihilate all the British positions overseas. Demands. Nope. Oh, good. They're pushing against the Austrians. Because I don't want the Austrians to get too strong. And what's happening down here? So it's the Prussians. Are the Prussians taking Warsaw and the Russians taking Konigsberg? interesting proposal will be if the uh, the Austrians to go to war with the Russians and call me in. If they do, I want to sail an army and capture Crimea and hold it. That will be my... Actually, oh, would I sail and capture St. Petersburg and say, no, this is my component. Look at the Genoans again, they're just building up their armies and expanding. Eventually they're going to go for me. Um, but I have decided that when the Genoans go for me, my first target will be to knock out Genoa, because without Genoa, they don't really have any regions of note. They have North African regions, region. which aren't easy. really worth much at all. Okay, so first things first, let's recruit two ships of two first rate ships of the line and two second rate ships of the line. And he goes to Bogotair. The redoubtable. The gentleman pirate. Technology advances. Okay, so what do I and don't I want you to do? So you're going to reform naval administration. You may as well do advanced irrigation because it's only eight turns. No, do punch codling, it's only six turns. You're on to diamond formation, which I'm not really bothered about, but fair enough. It gives me plus one command to leading cavalry. It gives me raw curiosity, curiosity air guards, which is nice. Yeah, Bordeaux, you... Uh, do advanced irrigation as well. Oh, no, actually do steam engine. I've got lots of uh, lots of f industries that would benefit greatly from that investment. Then we've got craft workshops here. Okay, so upgrade the commercial basin and upgrade the sugar warehouse to get more product out. Same here. Sounds like I'm talking about crystal meth or something. Okay, so then let's get... Let's get a sloop. Get ready to move one of these forces down to secure um, Jamaica. You're still on your merry way. It's nice of them to be upgrading some of your uh, buildings. Too bad it's a theatre, so that's going to get knocked down. Meager yield, meager yield, it's not great. Wealthy Weaver's Cottage, that's what you want to see. Lots of good investments to be made. And then let's go back to Portugal. Now I'm recruit sloop. So I can bring this army over, secure Ceylon, and secure Calcutta. Because this is going to be ugly trying to fight against the Marathas, because they've got nowhere to go. And at least I do have 
This has got early warning on if the if the Ottomans try anything in Baghdad. Oh, I got a third rate. Yeah, should be a reasonable enough fleet. Uh, destroy Normandy, London resolution serious. Surprise! I want to capture you, Grande Alessandro, Essex illustrious, Hornet, Bellerophon, Anson, Bermuda. I'm looking out for uh, victory. That's the one I would like. Okay, so let's hit and turn again. Yeah, to be honest, these armies... Armies I could well land in Britain. Oh, and they're sallying out to attack me. And because it's 50-50, because ultimately, anyone could win this one. So let's uh, quickly fight it. And software popping up, cut my recording. Uh, by the looks of it, you guys could be... well. Say by the looks of it, you guys have a bit of a longer episode because I don't know at what point it cut because I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, this is going to be a need to fight it. You should win it. You should be fine, but you know things can happen. You know what? I'm so confident. Just. Separate out my French Royalist infantry into not the best line. Oh, I've just taken a load more troops than I needed to. So let's take you, you, and you. Sit these guys behind. Ready to fire well. Let's deploy my cavalry out wide. Can they hide in these scant trees? They can. And there's my general. You, my hunters, can just sit back here not doing anything. And these guys immediately spread out. So the first artillery goes in. Okay, hit those guns because they are, could be frustrating. And where are they going to hit? Just checking these. Okay, they're going for my general. Let's just line my general up. Fire! Yeah, got all my artillery focus firing on their gun crews, so should be able to do something. Oh, they've changed their firing point against my artillery. By the looks of it, it's always interesting to see where their guns actually try to focus on. Okay, cool. Let's get play. Go hit that unit of tribal auxiliary, all of my cavalry. Then go on to their mortars, because these guys are about to get chewed up. One of you break off and go for the mortars. The other of you go for their cavalry. Second light horse. It's not going to take the point into this. I'm firing the wrong way. Yeah, they. If I shatter them in the field, they may end up uh, Okay, 
Your general is in difficulty. Ah, he's fine. There'll be plenty of infantry to cover him soon. There we go. No, actually, you go. You. Sp yeah, I did. Oh, I noticed a load of my guys. I didn't knock them all down. I don't know. Some of them are getting back up. But yeah, let's chase down this unit of infantry. Definitely continue. Run you out of the way. So go after this colonial line, because they're the uh, bigger threat. Go for the native. No, go both go for the line. routed and it's just those guys up in the corner. My general's attacking, they go few because oh, they're not yeah. there you go. <laughs> Cause they decided to take their time for paid dearly with their lives. Excellent. Lost ninety men, they lost almost six hundred. And the Sally from Albany has failed. Because ultimately, oh look at that rather fancy line of Prussian gentlemen all just stood there about to form a cappella. <laughs> um, yeah, so once I've, well to be honest, once I've taken America, once I've taken the British colonies, I'm probably going to end up attacking the Cherokee. And then secure the continent. Uh, the continental landmass. That's going to be my, my next target. Secure more resources to bring to market. To help me fuel a naval empire greater than which the world has ever seen. Trade. You've got nothing, but we're going to trade because why not? May as well earn a bit of cash. That, I'm not really afraid of you. And at best, you irritate the Austrians and fight them. That's what I hope you do. Whether or not you actually do it or not is another question. Hmm. There go the Ottomans. Oh, they've knocked out, knocked out that garrisoning Austrian troop. Yeah, the Russians are currently pilfering the best knowledge Western Europe has to, well, Eastern Europe, I suppose technically, has to offer. God, I have to admire Genoa in this game. And they're still, they're still doing a pretty good job, but that's uh, harassing. Um, enemy positions. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> so the Cherokee push on Lower there Louisiana. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. There's lots of ports that haven't been upgraded because I've not got the money to do it all. Um, so what I want to do, actually, I remember it from my research tabs is I want to build. Oh, I can't, because I haven't got reorganized procurement. Mm. So let's do this. So before I completely leave this area unguarded... These are decent garrison. It's just a sloop, but it can sneakily shoot straight to the Atlantic to go in and secure territory in India. So we've got a new 
Ironmasters works. Get a new Iron Masters works. Upgrade these craft workshops. Commercial port. So are you. Your commercial base and commercial port. That's probably why Albany's growing so well. Yeah, the port does help quite a lot. Philadelphia, I could recruit a military academy. What's the population of Philadelphia like? 12,000, not many. Boston, 82,000. Eh. It's not a priority to build a uh, barracks there. Keep these guys scooting up to Moose Factory. Let's do a bit of. Let's build some roads to make sure my products can get to market. Back to Europe. So there's lots of stuff I could build in Amsterdam, but I also want to check out Portugal. So let's do that because I want you to get be able to recruit good artillery. Infantry is not a major acquisition. Um, are you happy with me? Kind of. How about you, Netherlands? Are you happy with me? Fairly. So why don't we do this and this at the same time? So this will go up, and this will go up. It should still be slightly positive. Let's get some cannon foundries in. Just a bit of extra oomph. Upgrade this port. Let's upgrade. You're fixed. You are fixed. You're being taxed. You're being taxed. But then there's a coaching in, because I can't remember why I did that. Yeah, they love me. Well, they mostly love me. Cool, we're getting some conversion on the go. To be honest, I might knock that down and build a economic building. That makes more sense, looking back. I'm not sure why I quite came to that conclusion. The gentleman pirate... Okay, so let's take this. Oh, oh no. No, you stay for there for now. Well, when when I've secured Rupert's land, I'll send a sloop around to pick up this army, drop them off Jamaica. I want to keep hold of these two regions. I don't want anyone sneaking in and attacking it. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> what did you do that for? Stupid misclick. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Run around. Okay. Either way, I'm going to just assault it, because my balance of favour is massively in my favour. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Could you hear the panic in my voice as I thought something was about to go horribly wrong? Um, but yeah, God, they got nothing. These guys have nothing. Baltimore is going to be developed, which supports, which is useful. That's lose. Where's Baltimore? Oh, I thought Baltimore's a port. My bad. Baltimore's just a single region. Um, rather have it, rather have it than not. Um, but yeah, that's gone okay. Despite my panic, now place is secured. Go down and take Virginia. Then I might take Charleston. There's lots of uh, lots of plantations. Then ultimately, there's going to be a bit of a scrap in this area when I open borders with uh, the Cherokee. So ultimately, one of these garrisons might be mildly increased to be a proper army. Well, proper, sort of a proper army. And um, then land and start taking ter the Cherokee territories. Maybe once these guys take Moose Factory, I'll we'll ship them around, secure Nassau, then make them secure uh, Florida, because Florida also has lots of plantations which are very, very good to hold. Cool. Let's hit end turn. And you're in position... Hmm... At some point, this alliance with Austria is going to blow up in my face. Just like Württemberg. And the same with Spain. Eventually, once you get too big, everyone hates you. So, you just got to make peace with it. I would, if possible, like to like to attack a, weak, a weakened British fleet. Your military access? No. Can't have it. Don't want Ottoman troops in my lands. No, thank you. Not interested. Hmm. 
<laughs> I can see what you're doing, but you can't see what I'm doing. Unless they've got rakes. Oh no, Poland's been... I was like Polish Rebellion. I see. Russia owns Warsaw. So the Russians are pushing westward. I think it'd be kind of fun if they'd... Uh, they started threatening Berlin. Would be quite interesting. To see them get that aggressive in game. But I don't know if they're at war with Austria or whether or not they're allies. Could be some funky mechanics to pray. The Louisiana fleet is finally on the move. But will they do anything of consequence or will they just park up and... So they've made a fleet. A full stack fleet, which is pretty good. What's Genoa going to do? Still going to interfere with the Austrians. Another stack in North America. North, North Africa, sorry. I need to really be careful with them. Really careful. There's a port in this region so national not debt. Been developed. I keep Select looking at him. Type of port to construct <laughs> here. Okay, let's get you a port. So, research and tech. So we've got... Uh, national debt. They're about to research the rights of man, which makes people very unhappy. So Amsterdam could become a bit tricky, but that's probably why I'd like to have... Let's get a couple of units of militia, just to make sure they're okay. First rate ship of the line, France, has launched a first rate ship of the line, the first, first of its kind, except the Admiral's flagship. Um, so we've got a handful of ships left, so I might get some... I don't want to get all of my named third rates in one go, so I want to do that with a final. With a final heavy first. I'm pretty sure five ships might be a bit much. I can never remember how many ships I can actually get. War galleon, sloop, sloop of war, heavy first rate. Yep, that'd be a nice little fleet. Pottery workshops, yep. Come on, Jerusalem. Start earning me the big bucks. Water power cloth mill, always a good thing. Got to keep an eye on this clamour for reform within Paris. Where is my school? Yeah, I can upgrade you to modern university, the classic university, but that's why I'm keeping these uh, pleasure gardens in, in reserve. Plus five happiness, which is big. So this navy's pretty knackered. It'd be tempted. Ooh, these guys have fought someone because they're not doing so well. Brig of War, illustrious. Ah, yes, I forgot. So, okay. You know what? Blockade Portsmouth. Sally out. Sally out and stop me. If these guys stay around and attack me, I'll retreat. But I want them to attack me because I want victory, damn it. Yeah, garrison forces in Portugal. Good. But um, judging by what's left of my timer, I'm probably way over my uh, my my section. Uh, actually, actually, no, no, I won't be won't be that mean. Let's do a bit of investing first. So you kind of like me. You're not going to get much better either. Don't necessarily want to get a classical university. Um, so I'll go over to the Americas and spend the last of this money. Average. Okay, let's do you to get. Well, let's just start to get some more goods on the market. I suppose that'd be the best thing to do. Um, and can I? Okay, let's knock down this to rebuild the governor's chambers in Maryland. But now, it's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.